from the Tribune News Network. This is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Thursday's top stories. 35 persons are on the missing list after Hurricane Dorian hit the Bahamas back in September 2019. And relatives of the missing now trying to get some closure. The coroner's court continues its inquest into those missing persons. And the Tribune has a report on some of the persons who are telling the story of their grief. Cleanup now underway at the Potters Key Dock. Following that fire, the damage or destroyed six stalls and two boats Sunday. No injuries were reported in that fire, but the stall owners are facing an uncertain future. Agriculture Minister Pintot is promising that the government will help if it can. Getting ready for a pause in the coronavirus vaccinations this weekend. It's a supply issue. The vaccination committee pausing for evaluation purposes, but health officials say there's no danger that persons who've taken the first shot will not get the second when it's time. The committee has scheduled a news conference for next Tuesday to provide an update on the situation. Union officials at the Water and Sewage Corporation questioning management's decision to put PLP election candidate Kirk Cornish, who works for the corporation and Abaco, on administrative leave without pay. The union is accusing management of victimization by doing that. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. That Shantytown hearing continues in the Supreme Court before Justice Cheryl Grant Thompson. 177 Shantytown residents challenging the legality of the government's 2018 demolition policy. And Works Minister Bannister is pointing a finger at Bahamians who he says helped to facilitate the construction of those communities. Unfortunately, many of these breaches in law are facilitated by Bahamians who also have benefited financially by unlawfully providing services to unregulated communities. One such example at the farm was the nightly provision of heavy equipment to construct roads, thereby enabling the construction of even more unregulated structures. And that came in the House this week while the minister was updating the House on that recent Abaco exercise. Police have charged a third man in connection with a recent $3 million drug bust in Eleuthera. 37-year-old Michael Taylor was arraigned on related charges in court yesterday. It's estimated now that 20,000 persons have been displaced by that volcano eruption in St. Vincent. Our government is trying to decide how it can help. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area. Mostly sunny again today. Highs from the low to mid-80s. 80 at Freeport, 82 in the capital, 83 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories. Winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The seas 2 to 4 feet. Low tide now. The next high around noon. Clear skies again tonight. Lows from the mid-60s to mid-70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, you want to call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Let's get the weekend started. The weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must-try restaurants and hotspots, and of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of the weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Thursday's World News headline. U.S. President Biden makes a major foreign policy move. He has announced that all American troops would be out of Afghanistan by September 11th, the 20th anniversary of the 9-11 attack, which got them there in the first place. Tension continues in Minneapolis and Minnesota in the U.S. Four days after the fatal shooting of a black man by a white woman police officer, she's now been charged with manslaughter, but protests continue there. A United Nations official says there's a chance there could be a humanitarian crisis developing in St. Vincent following that volcano eruption on the island. The U.N. continues to monitor that situation. Tribune's gas tracker prices for Thursday, Shell 486, SO 488. Rubik's now listed at $4.93 per gallon. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Big game for Jazz Chisholm, Major League Baseball. 
in Atlanta. He hits his second home run of the season. The Marlins are scoring runs and winning, and he is getting a big splash in the Tribune Sports complete with pictures. John Quill Jones getting ready to return to the WNBA after sitting out a season. Read about that. Get the latest on Buddy Heal. 19 points against Washington last night, but the Kings lost again. They're 22-33 and 33 on the season, and their playoff hopes are fading. There's a European soccer update on the Serena Williams sighting in the Tribune Sports Thursday. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.